So here we've got uh, box two. It says uh, Guardians, uh, Justice League, Superman, and Action Comics. So let's see how well I did with my organizational skills. Uh, Racket Raccoon, um, just a hilarious, hilarious um, character with his uh, witty, witty humor. Can't remember the name of the artist that did all the the portraits. I don't know what I can't remember off the top of my head. I always like getting free comic book days, chance to go in and uh, obviously get some free books, but then you know see what the sales are going on. This story was pretty cool. Uh, I don't know what. Can't remember what volume it is, but uh, real fun read. Rocket and some uh, shenanigans going up against uh, that lady trying to to pull a heist. Uh, written by Al Ewing, um, and he he kind of pairs up with this ex uh, love interest, like this. Um, Oh gosh, Be uh, I think they were beavers. So yeah, yeah, see the tail. So pretty fun. Um, here's a, uh, I believe this is, uh, yeah, so second print. So this is the spoiler of uh, Infinity Wars because you see Thanos getting wailed by a, uh, a sword. You don't know who did it. There's the purple sword, hint, hint. Um, real fun, real fun story. I think it was like six parts. That was really cool to me. They got the different colors, you know, stones trailing out of their heads. I liked um, Guardians because of the movie, but it also helped me uh, do some homework and find out about them and. I do like uh, the first series uh, stories. They'll be coming up here towards the middle of the box. It's Gamora being tormented by the memories of her father. I think this is one of those uh, connecting, uh, connecting variants, multiple sizes. I think, you know, top, bottom. All that kind of stuff. So this is a uh, this is a win I got from the fanboys live in the retro review uh, from Firestorm's uh, first run. I can't remember how many it is uh, from that first. I don't know if it was five or six, but I got. Uh, I guess this is the first uh, first Killer Frost first appearance of the Killer Frost. And it's just a, one of those randomizer things, you know, kind of popped up. I think, uh, I think I did a video. You can kind of, you know, check out my my channel. Uh, Nova. I don't know if I was going to get into Nova or not. Um, I picked up some um, in the dollar bins. Um, I don't know yet. I haven't read them, but. Uh, it seems like an interesting character. I like space, so I don't know why it's not in my space box. And this one was strictly a, a cover buy. Um, and I saw the name Star-Lord. Uh, I don't know how many is in this series, but then I saw Timothy Zahn, and I think he wrote a novel, um, Thrawn, Star Wars book. So I wanted to check it out. I'm not going to read it until I get all three issues or whatever it is. Uh, this this Star Lord story is is pretty funny. It talks, you know, it kind of goes back and forth from whence he was young and Yondu uh, picked him up beyond the Ravengers. And this one's uh, was part of an AOK from uh, from Steve. 
And then if you remember uh, from my X-Men box uh, last video, um, I, I was gifted a, um, oh gosh, I can't think of her name now, uh, Jean Grey in the, uh, the green miniskirt suit. And Matt also sent this uh, Perillo Silver Surfer Black. And I, I honestly, the, the picture does not do this justice at all on filming. But when you hold this in your hand and you look at this, you literally think, I mean, this, this is three-dimensional. It, it is an amazing piece of artwork. Uh, thanks again, Matt. So here's how much of a noob I am, <clears throat> and I thought I was getting an early, um, an early Guardians book, but it wound up being it's an early uh, Marvel Presents book, um, Guardians of the Galaxy. So this is from the first uh, iteration of the team. Um, so Drax, you know, looks a little different, and this, that, and the other, and they go through. Um, uh, something about this planet. There's supposed to be peace on this planet. Very cool story. This is actually um, one of the first times I realized, uh, you know, books that had the value, uh, the Marvel value stamps in them. Uh, this one still has the stamp uh, intact. Uh, really cool story. But again, the, the movie, um, the movies got me into liking the Guardians. But then in reading this, uh, these early runs, uh, I fell in love with the earlier team. A lot more than the other ones. So that was four. This is seven. I don't. I don't have the early ones. Again, I'm a. I'm a dollar bin diver, so you're not really going to find those books in a dollar bin. Um, but one day I will. So number nine. Number 10, so if I had to get, you know, 1 through 10, that, that would be great. So I'm missing, obviously missing a few. Here's a, a pretty cool uh, shiny cover with uh, Galactus on the cover. And I'm not sure if this is... Uh, I'm not sure if this is the Dazzler or not. This is number 33. Um, featuring the blistering conclusion of the battle on the Badoon homeworld. Uh, Starhawk returns. Not sure. Uh, I'll get into it one of these days. Here's 34. This one reminded me of the uh, T two movie when the, when the the skeleton you know all the uh, organic stuff melted off of them. Here's number fifty. And here's a, an annual sixty four page special. It's like one of the square books. Uh, so that one is number one, 1991. And here is number two, 1992. Shout out to my beautiful wife. So I'm not sure what uh, 0 0.1 means. Um, but again, it's just part of the Guardians. This is interesting to me because it says Guardians of the Galaxy, but it's the Trial of Green Jer uh, Jean Grey uh, 6 of 6 so I'm still on the hunt for the other parts of that story I mean, some of these covers I mean isn't that like Agent uh, Agent Venom in the middle there with the guns really cool really cool covers I don't mind the trade dress also, I know there's some people didn't like it, but I didn't mind. So that one went to number three, but it's a different trade. So interesting.
don't know how many volumes. I think the last time I checked, it was like nine. I don't know, between seven and nine or something like that, volumes of, uh, of Guardians. There's a ton out there. I don't know who decides to... Uh, to say, oh, volume starting over. And this cosplay cover here, I mean, that that person did it right. I mean, holy cow. Um, it's like they took him right out of the movie. This team up was a, was a really cool story. I don't know how long the run went, but I did... Uh, uh, one and two, R really cool, really cool story. So then we started to get into the uh, the Donny Cates run. This is one of the connecting covers. I didn't get the other half, but um, they marketed it. You know, this was the Donny Cates um, reboot. So it says Legacy 151, but it started over at one. This was an awesome, uh, awesome storyline. I think I wound up getting... Uh, all 12 or 13 of these. I didn't I didn't continue on after that though. But uh I really enjoyed I really enjoyed this run. Remember Rocket was was sick. This reminded me of the of the con moment of uh Search for Spock. Um, I know it wasn't a bloody hand, but Spock and Kirk put their hands together. That, for some reason, that cover brings back that memory for me. Had a little wardrobe, wardrobe malfunction there. And this is just a, an awesome cover. That, they call it the Immortal Variant, but... Groot, all looking, looking crazy. I know he's distraught over his buddy raccoon in this storyline. It's a 2099 variant, number 11. Number 12, a uh, cosmic... Cosmic Ghost Rider, I think he was jumping in on a handful of uh, handful of covers. So that one is Legacy 162, so 163. So wow. Got a... I did get one cover. I don't remember that. That must have came in a trade with somebody. Wow. Here's a variant, uh, the annual... Cosmic. I think this is the uh, the regular A cover. It's a free comic book day. And I, I didn't get this other part of this story, but this Prodigal Son, I think it's a two-parter. Still on the hunt for the other one. <laughs> 